What's up guys? I'm The Real Deal. Welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm an end game free to play player with three and a half years experience and we are definitely getting a Void Legendary Champion today. Um, it's been six months since I last pulled my Void Legendary. That's what happens when you're free to play. You have to have the patience of a saint. Um, but also, you know, we are so deep into Mercy. We are definitely, you know, I've pulled over 200 shards. So we are definitely getting a Void Legendary today. Um, let's just see where we are, like how my uh, champion taste tournament's going. So let's see what number one's looking like. Whoa, 100k points from uh, someone from Sacred Pandas, Panda 2. Um, there's no way I'm beating this guy, um, but I'm going to pull until we hit that second legendary book, 550 points, because you need these legendary books. So yeah, we're definitely pulling until we get that. And let's just see where this guy is on the global leaderboard. So he's not even number one. He's 12th in the world, which is just crazy. Just to think that he's pulled, like, I don't even know how many shards that is. That is just on another level. And this guy uh, doesn't have his full name, GLFY. I don't know which clan that is. Gods and Legends, for your information, I don't know. But they've tripled the amount of points he's got, which is just, I don't even know. God only knows how much money this guy's blown to get that. But anyway, so let's uh, start pulling shards. But just before we do that, if you want to get involved, I do a shout out and account take of competition. If you want to get involved, all you need to do is like, subscribe um, and drop a comment below. So I know that you want to enter the competition. Also, please join me on Discord so I can get in contact with you. Um, so all you need to do is if you just click on the description, you'll see my Discord channel. Just join on there and um, I announce the winner on there. And that way, you know that you've won. I can get in contact with you and do the account takeover. So let's start pulling shards. Uh, we've got 48 to go through. Done it. Oh, whoops. <laughs> we'll start with some mystery shards. Oh, man, look at the luck on that as well. I hate when that happens. It always makes me feel like I'm going to mess it up. But anyway, let's, let's go. So 10 voids. Here we go, boys. So we've got a cold heart. Everyone knows Cold Heart, the best rare champion in the game. And wow, what a terrible start. <laughs> what an absolute awful start. Okay, so nothing there. Let's go again. Oh. Okay, Padmea, she's a decent champion. Um, use her in Doom Tower. I use her on some of the bosses. Um, yeah, great, great champion. Not like super OP. But she's, if you get her, definitely worth living out because you can use her to help carry you with some of the Doom Tower bosses. And my goodness, we've not, like, over halfway and we've still not pulled a Void Legendary yet. What is going on? Seriously, is two times even turned on? Damn. All right, so Shamal, I think everyone's got to know this guy. He is so OP for Hydra. Um, I use him in my Nightmare team. He carries the team so hard, especially if the Head of Fear's up. Um, great champion, and he basically cleanses it and just pushes the champion that's in the lead, um, just keeps boosting their turn meter. Just such a great champion. Pairs up really nicely with Nekmo. Um, but yeah, great for those uh, content, though. Can be used for Doom Tower waves. Um, you can build him like as a full nuke as well for Arena, and he can be used at top-level play as well. So we've got to be, I'm expecting something amazing here right now. Like, what is going on? Like, seriously. And rare tax again. Jeez. I can't believe this. Like, seriously, we should be getting like a void legendary like now. What is going on? They just want me to buy shards, don't they? And it's not going to happen. No way. <laughs> no way. Come on. I'm speechless. I am actually speechless. How have... I need to, like, do some maths. Like, I need to go back and count. But I, I've definitely pulled over 200 shards. How... Have we not got a legendary? Is this gonna come this is gonna come down to the wire? 
I just can't believe this. This is just unbelievable. Oh. Do you know what? Like, I don't, I don't like to be negative. I'm quite a positive person. But Raid really need to sort out their mercy system. It is just an absolute joke. To think, you know, it's two times. I'm so sure I've pulled over 200 Void Shards. And it's just such an awful system. You know, like, they need to definitely do something. You know, they're introducing so many Void Champions now. I feel that either they need to, there's three things they can do. They could either, you know, double the amount of Void Shards that we get a year or, you know, like every six months, something like that. Double the amount of Shards that we get for Voids or they need to drop this to, you know, like after 100 summons, they increase the chance that you get a Void Legendary or the other way they could do it is increase the chance of getting a Void Legendary. I'd probably bump that up to like 5%. Um, but yeah. That just absolutely sucks. I mean, I am so gutted. I can't believe we didn't get a legendary. Damn. Or well, I mean, like next video, 100% we're getting a legendary. But I can't believe we didn't. Anyway, let's check out this week's winner. And this week's winner is a pair of socks, Soxy. Um, so Soxy is an end game player. Um, she's a very low spender. She's only spent a hundred dollars on this account over three years. And do you know what? $100 over three years, that's nothing. I'd actually class her as a free to play. Uh, you know, that is so low. That's less than $5 a month. Um, and her, her account is stacked. Um, just look, she's got like two Acrisias, which is just insane. Um, she must be just dropping Hydra with no problems. Uh, she's also got Candrophon, great for live arena, great for arena defense for classic and 3v3. A Prince Kaimar you know, the best champion for doing speed runs yeah, for dungeons. She's also got Warlord as well. I mean, I'm just so jealous. Like Warlord, he can just like completely lock out a team with AOE um, skills and cooldown. Just an absolute beast for all arena. Just can do it all. Um, who else has she got? Krisk. She's got Krisk. Um, you know, another champion. I mean, great for all content, but, you know, like for Hydra an absolute beast he's also used in the clan boss world record uh team comp and she's also got duchess as well i'd love to have duchess like she's just got so many great champions on her account but those are the ones to me that really stand out let's just um i'm just gonna hide myself as well just so we can look at the other champions that are behind the back of my head and my my fringe is terrible today you know it's so hot in the uk my hair's going all frizzy but yeah, enough about me and my vanity uh, who else have we got? So, yeah, I think some of the other champions, she's got some really good champions, but none of those really stand out as much as uh, the ones that I've just mentioned. Is there anyone else in the back burner? I mean, Uko and Helicath, both fusion champions, but also great, great champions. Absolutely amazing. But yeah, definitely. She's got so many void legendaries. <laughs> she Her luck is just on another level compared to mine. So let's just bring myself back. Um, yeah, so um, Soxy has um, actually, let's look at some of the stuff that um, she's achieved on her account as well. Okay, so Soxy has pretty much done it all. You know, 3v3, she's in gold. Um, she's farming, Sand Devil, um, Iron Twins. She is doing it all. Um, so I think the most impressive thing that she's done on her account is probably Hydra. Um, so this is for Nightmare, and it's a one key team comp that she's come up with. And to be fair, it's actually pretty free to play friendly um drek star in there really nice to see provoke champion something that i've not even thought about um using but yeah really really uh creative team comp really like it mother sabelle mithrala i mean there's two champions here that are you know very you know everyone can get these champions then she's got ugo she's got geomancer both epic champions and then shamul as well which obviously he's a void epic so a bit harder to get but definitely, um, you know, if you play the game long enough, you will get him. So really, really impressive stuff. Well done, Soxy. I like it. Um, then this is her um, brutal team comp, which is definitely not free to play friendly at all. She's got three of the best void legendaries in here for Hydra and then also a Duchess as well. Like Duchess, for me, I think she's the best champion in the game. I can't think of another champion that can do more than Duchess. And not only can she do it, everywhere not, not only can she be used everywhere in the game 
but she does it the best. Like she is just my favorite champion, my most wanted champion. I still don't have her on my account, but yeah, an absolute beast. So um, I do want to say, so basically Soxy didn't need any help um, on her account because she's, you know, she is end game. So she was kind enough to give her account away, um, her account takeover giveaway. She gave it away to someone else. Um, I got in touch with this guy called Dylan, um, but he never got in contact with me. So Dylan, um, you know, I'm going to just ping his comment up here. So Dylan, please do get in contact with me. Uh, do it on Discord. Um, and then, you know, and then I can do that account takeover for you and help you progress in the game. Thank you so much for being guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that um, subscribe and I'll catch you in my next video. Peace.